Well, Karrion Cross was nice while he lasted. What was this all about? They had an interview, obviously film. It was filmed backstage, and obviously, I can't believe this was the first take. Somebody had to be producing this heavily because Karrion Cross, I, maybe there were cue cards because I don't see how anybody could have a memory like this. Karrion Cross took an interview that was handed to him by somebody that's apparently in the third semester of film school or fancies themselves some type of dramatic writer. And he was apparently forced at gunpoint because that's what the look was on his face. And you could tell his butthole was just quivering and clenching. He was forced at gunpoint to utter this thing word for word, the way it was written for him while trying to act dramatic while they played some type of spooky music lowly in the background and he almost affected an accent that sounded like he was in a Grey Poupon commercial. What have they done to this guy? They wrote this out for him word for word. They made him stand there and probably, uh, did have they, if he has children, maybe they're holding one hostage and made him say this word for excruciating word, using plenty of words that no human ever would use in conversation. This was the most unconvincing statement by anybody that I've ever heard on a wrestling program. It was, instead of taking this guy that's been a fairly badass wrestler that you might have been scared of, and with his hot girl Scarlet along with him, and a great entrance and some pretty decent matches, and they've turned him into a bad thespian acting in some off, 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 it's so far off Broadway, the stage is in Teterboro. <sighs> what the fuck? What have they done to this poor guy now? Is he, in, in a year, are we going to be hearing him say, thank God I'm out of there. I'm ready to get super kicked by the cosplayers. What's going on with Karrion Cross? I think if there was a wrestler I wanted and I was AEW and that wrestler was thinking about going to WWE, I would present a PowerPoint presentation of <laughs> Keith Lee, Karrion Cross, maybe throw Dijakovic in there. And then I would throw in the pitch to Adam Cole to stay. And this is why talent is screwed under Vince McMahon. This is bad. In Vince's head, it's good. This is bad. This is really bad. This guy, they had to just take what he was doing in NXT, minor adjustments in terms of the presentation. I'm not talking about in the ring or anything. Him and Scarlett, ready for the big show. No, they messed the whole thing up. This sucks. Ah, I'm... And the Vince McMahon that I worked with, I don't believe would have let this air simply because it was so unconvincing. If you had just said, Vince, it sounds like a hostage statement. He doesn't believe any of this. He's not, he's not got any passion in it. He would at least let him do it over again. I would have argued, why don't we scrap the whole thing and let him tell a story in his own words? That probably wouldn't have gone anywhere, but wow, this was, I, I actually watched it twice because wow. I, I couldn't. The f I, I wasn't prepared for what I was seeing the first time I saw it, and I wanted to make sure that I did. This is no longer the same person that was even appearing on the program a few weeks ago. He's never spoken like that in that tone. He's never said shit like this. It's never he's uh, he's never been a rotten promo that I can recall. This was horrible because they forced him to either memorize this or read it and say it exactly like that. And it was rotten, just rotten. So, and we haven't seen Scarlet in months now, right? Well, she saw this promo and asked for a divorce. 
Um, <laughs> so, you know, I, 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 but anyway, so let's, let's between the, the demolition ripoff outfit and that promo, let's, uh, let's just say goodbye to our hopes for carrying cross. He's doomed. Well, we will certainly see what happens in the weeks and months ahead. How much worse can it get? We will certainly find out. But Jim, if you were a young wrestler signed to WWE right now, you'd probably be pretty frightened. You don't know what's happening in NXT. You don't know who's in charge. You don't know who remembers what. You hate dealing with certain toads. It's just a bad way to go about living each and every day, working in that dump. Perhaps you've had enough and you need someone to talk to. Well, it wouldn't be me or you, because we'd make you feel worse. But I'll tell you who you can talk to, not if you've been given a bad gimmick by an Alzheimer's-ridden uh, billionaire. Then you can't talk to anybody. You're on your own. However, if you've got something in your personal life that's interfering with your happiness, preventing you from achieving your goals, then the folks at BetterHelp can help you. BetterHelp can assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist that you can start communicating with in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's professional counseling done securely online with a broad range of expertise available from their counselors that may not be locally available in many areas. You don't want to go out in a, in a waiting room. You don't, uh, you don't want to go out and, and sit there and potentially catch diseases while you're trying to talk to somebody. You can do this worldwide, online, through weekly video or phone sessions. Uh, they're committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling. Financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today so you can visit their website and read the testimonials. It's BetterHelp. That's H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com. And if you go to BetterHelp.com slash drive, you can get 10% off your first month's services for our listeners. That's 10% off your first month's services at BetterHelp.com slash drive. Join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. And then BetterHelp can get even bigger, do more business, and then they can have an offshoot completely for depressed wrestlers upset about their bad gimmicks. And then me and Brian can be the first counselors there. I think BetterHelp's going to lose a lot of business when a certain somebody gets removed from his position. Well, we shall see.